Hey, what's good everybody? It's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today I'm going to show you five different ways to transform MIDI in Logic Pro X. Let's get it. All right, so I have Logic open now and I already have a MIDI region here uh, that I'm using uh, with Alchemy. And I just made a little chord progression here. I'll let you hear it really quick. Now, you know, if you want to change up uh, any of this MIDI uh, with a few clicks, there are some really nice functions. I'm going to show you five of them that I use very often. And uh, the first one being random velocity. You can change the velocity at random by using the MIDI transform and coming down to random velocity like so. Now, I usually just go with the default that comes up here. You can make changes to this by, uh, you know, coming up here and changing the numbers. And as you can see here, the randomization will change down down below. So I'm going to select that and uh, you can hit select and operate. And as you can see now, these velocities changed quite a bit. But uh, you can also come down here and click on it. It'll say use map and I'll say yes. And now you just have it from low to high. But you can come in here and actually change it yourself. So just draw something random like this and hit select and operate. And all of these now are a little bit lower. You can come up here and just, you know, change it up even further. Go crazy with it, whatever you want to do. Hit select and operate again. So now they're at somewhat of a same level as you can see here. But it uh, brings a, you know, a human element if you're, if you're trying to um, make it sound a little, little different basically um, than what it was before. So that's uh, random velocity. That's one of them. Let's uh, check out another one. It's called crescendo. And what that would do is here, I'm going to quickly undo uh, what I did by hitting command Z. All right. So this is the original again. Going to come over here and we'll go ahead and uh, select crescendo. And what crescendo basically does is, uh, you know, staggers the velocity from low to high. Just like this. And this is nice to use in intros, you know, um, or, or buildups and stuff like that. And it's an easy way to transform your MIDI into a crescendo form. So that's a quick one to, uh, to notate. All right, let's check out what else we have here. Uh, the next one I like to use a lot is reverse positions. So let me undo again what I did by hitting Command Z. And we'll come back here. And then we'll do reverse positions. Select and operate. So now what this did was basically take uh, the chord progression and flipped it left to right, whatever you want to call it. And now it's playing that same progression backwards. Completely different feel, completely different vibe. And it's as easy as that uh, by selecting the reverse position and then hitting uh, select and operate. We're going to go ahead and check out another one which is called Humanize. This is one of my favorite ones, actually. If you hit Humanize, uh, you can see down below we have another map uh, that uh, indicates the uh, randomization. So what Humanize does is basically change velocity levels as well as start times of each MIDI note. As humans, we don't play the piano perfectly um, on each bar. There's a little bit more complexity, a uh, little more randomness, uh, in, you know, uh, when we're playing the keyboard. So we can apply that to MIDI that we've uh, put into the piano roll by mouse, by clicking a mouse or whatever. And, uh, you know, using this tool will humanize your sound. So let's go ahead and hit select and operate. And as you can see, it already changed it a bit. If we were to close this out really quick and I were to zoom in, so it randomized uh, that, you know, the start times of each MIDI note. And again, it gives it more that that human touch that you're looking for. All right, so let's uh, let's zoom out and I'll play it really quick. We can uh, humanize it even further. So I'm going to come back to humanize now. And uh, what we'll do is we'll up this by a little bit and this by a little bit, just by one. And as you can see, it already changed it up a lot. This might be a little too much. But, uh, you know, you can you can come back and, and fix individual notes, obviously.
you know, the way you want it to sound. So that gave it that uh, that human feel. There's uh, there's one more that I wanted to show you guys. I'll quickly undo what I did, and we're gonna come back here. And you can leave this, uh, you know, MIDI transform uh, thing open, and and you know, select what you want, and then apply it. Go to another one, select and uh, and operate and apply it. So uh, you know, you can use all of them uh, in one instance and change your your MIDI completely. All right, so the last one I'm going to show you guys that I like a lot is transposition. This will allow us to transpose our chord progression um, up in the key or down in the key. So let's go ahead and hit that. And what we're going to do is bring it down by two, select and operate. So it took that entire uh, chord progression and brought it down two keys. Nice. We can also go reverse. So let's add two. So now we brought it back to the same position. Let's add four. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you guys learned something today. If you have any questions, concerns, whatever, put those in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notifications button so anytime we upload new content, you guys are notified. My name's CJ Beats, and I'm out for now. Peace.